Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and today I want to talk about everyone's favorite subject, which are ponies. It, no, no, not those ponies. That was such a 2011 fat. No, <laughs> so stupid. No, I want to talk about one trick ponies in competitive Overwatch. Now, for everyone that's played competitive Overwatch, we've all ran into at least one one trick pony, and we all kind of get this negative vibe whenever we hear about it. And in today's video, I want to talk about one trick ponies themselves, but how we can be the solution to the quote unquote problem, even though one trick ponies might not necessarily even be that big of a problem compared to other things that are going on in competitive Overwatch. Now, for all seven of you that don't know what a one trick pony is in Overwatch's case, basically it's a player that dedicates their whole entire life to just playing one hero, or ra rather actually dedicating their whole entire secondary account to playing heroes that aren't very versatile, aren't very flexible, and are often seen not as meta. Heroes like Symmetra, Torbjorn, Bastion, May even, heroes that, again, like I said, not that meta, that can't do the job as easily and as often compared to other heroes. Now, in this video specifically, one, I'm not going to be hating on one tricks, and two, I'm not going to be hating on off meta one tricks specifically, because oftentimes than not, players forget that one tricks can also consist of heroes like Zarya, such as heroes like Reinhardt, Lucio, Brigida, really meta heroes that are very popular right now, but when the time surprisingly comes for a switch off that meta hero, well, now they're stuck in the same situation, they're stuck in the same boat as compared to these other one tricks. So, what is the solution to this kind of problem. Now for all you smarty pants out there that are already commenting on oh, the smart solution here is for the one trick to switch. You have to understand the job of a one trick. The job of a one trick is to dedicate their whole entire life to just that or their whole entire second account to just that hero. If they were to switch, the whole job of a one trick is compromised. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. So you should already be under the assumption that this one trick is not going to switch off. And like, yes, I, I get it. I understand that that's so stupid. That's so backwards. But you have to see it from the one trick's perspective. Whether you ask them nicely, whether you beg them, whether you scream at them, it doesn't matter because their job right now is to be one tricking this hero and not switch for anyone. You're not special and he's gonna or she is gonna be doing their own thing I get it that that's backwards I get it that that's dumb and you might think that this video is not gonna be helpful in any other way and that's where you're wrong because now you have to think about how you can be a part of the solution because you might think that this is a problem is seeing that this one trick Symmetra this one trick May this one trick Zenyatta this one trick Reinhardt is on your team not switching again we're doing equality one tricks here what is the solution here you might think oh well they need to switch uh-uh the job of a one trick is never to switch so what do you have to do to get the win? Because you're still a part of this team. The solution here is to play with the one trick and surround your team composition around that one trick. Think about it. Is you yelling getting you any closer to the victory? Is you screaming at the one trick getting you closer to him switching playing a hero that he might not be good at? Because like, you got to think, a one trick is going to be god tier. At the, well, hopefully, hopefully god tier at the one trick. Because let's just use me for an example. Even though I don't one trick May, even though I don't have a one trick account for May, if I were to be one trick in May, you'd be getting the most amount of value out of May. One, because, and if I can jerk my own chain here, I'm good at May and I know what to do with May. So you're going to be getting the most value out of that hero. You're going to be getting the little tiny things that you don't notice and possibly win because they're god tier at May. Along with that, they can work around anything that is on the enemy team since they've seen every single situation by playing with that one hero, by one tricking with that one hero. If they have a diving diva, they'll figure it out. If they have a bunch of shields, they'll figure it out. If they have a bastion, they'll figure it out because they've been in that situation with that hero possibly multiple times. And that is the biggest pro whenever it comes to having a one trick on your team is the fact that you're getting the most amount of value out of that specific hero because that player knows the ins and outs of that specific hero. Hopefully, this is looking at the brighter side of one tricks, not really the dark negative side. But that dark and negative side can come out whenever it comes to looking at the con of a one trick on your team. And that is when the enemy team works their team composition around that one trick to beat the one trick.
one trick now. So what is the solution now for you to pick heroes that can further enhance that one trick, that can work around that one trick? Because again, you have to assume, and this is a stupid assumption because it's kind of backwards, the one trick is not going to switch and if he sees his teammates working around him he's going to be trying his darndest to win or at least that's what a mature one trick would do because what kind of one trick or any kind of person for that matter would try their darndest to win when they have all their teammates yelling at them screaming at them telling them that they're useless calling them names this is kind of sounding like my ex relationship <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nobody's gonna want to win and at that point everyone's a part of the problem and no one's a part of the solution. Whereas if you're picking heroes that can further enhance them, like if they picked a Hanzo and you pick Zarya so that you can get an ult combination, well that's making a progressive step forward to try to get the win. Whereas if you're just yelling at the Hanzo to do something, well why don't you do something fam? Why don't you try to do something? Yes it sucks and I'll be the first one to admit that I'm not so peachy daisy whenever it comes to one tricks. I'm not so happy when we get one but I'm not gonna just give and be like, oh, well, he's the reason why we lose. No, if I'm not making an efforts, I'm also a reason as to why we lose. If you have a him in one trick, maybe you should play Orisa or Ryan because you need a shield tank to protect the McCree in the back. Or if you have a Pharah one trick, maybe you should try to play Zenyatta or Merce to try to pocket the Pharah so that they can get fat rocket barrages. Or if they have a Symmetra one trick, which is a popular one trick, playing heroes like Lucio or Pain, heroes like Zari to protect that Symmetra so that they can build their beam up and they can just be annoying with their turrets. One tricks can cause the enemy team to get more annoyed than your own team. You just have to be willing to get to that stage of the competitive game because I've had games with one tricks like Symmetra one tricks, Bastion one tricks, May one tricks that have won us the game all because they get in the enemy's head and they make them give up. And it's often having that mindset of just giving up that I see a lot of these teams lose competitive games and because of whatever reason. And in this case, it's having a one trick on your team but if you are willing to work with that one trick and not give up well there's no reason why you can't win unless the enemy team is just better and if the enemy team is just better well there has to be a winner or a loser would you have done better if you would have had a more meta hero in that game Possibly not, because maybe that player isn't so good with Reinhardt, isn't so good with Brigida, Zenyatta. Maybe they are just good with Symmetra. You just have to get that value out of that player by enhancing them. So that is my video, and that is the solution to one tricks, because banning them isn't really the best solution. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.